This is Dr. Jack Nordhaus of IWMS, and today I'm speaking with Randy Schwanz, the president of the Wedge Group, and in his role as a premier partner, which is a new program which is designed to benefit our members and uh, help make money for all of us. Randy, I want to thank you very much uh, for sharing this morning, and uh, what can I say? Um, it's kind of, I guess, for starters, we just want to kind of find out uh, what is it that you guys do? What I mean, what what is um, uh, you know, your, your products, your services, and all that good stuff? Yeah, probably more so than anything, Jack. I mean, what we do is we help small, mid-sized agencies mm-hmm. build a, uh, a sustainable sales culture to drive organic growth, to drive shareholder value, um, in a big picture, that's what we do. And then there's a lot of tools that support making that happen. Okay. Well, let's uh, talk about a couple of those uh, tools for a moment. Are you, the wedge is your – is that your generic term for what it is you guys do, or is it the, the overall product, or exactly what? Well, the, the, the wedge, you know, because, you know, the, the, it's the name of a book, it's the name of a sales training process, and it actually became the name of our company, you know, because that, that's kind of how we got branded. But the – you know, the, the wedge itself is, 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 a, is a selling process, is a sales call process that, that is designed uh, to go bust incumbent relationships. I mean, yeah, you to, might to recall wedge. back. I mean, yeah, the wedge. Yeah, to wedge you. Wedge. In and get a, great. Okay. Well, that, uh, yep. well that, that's a grabber for sure. And uh, how did you get into this, Randy? I mean, how did you um, tell us the wedge story? Briefly. Well, yeah, the wet story, I mean, if you go back, you, you know, in my, my personal career, I mean, there was a period of time, about 10 years, I was in the construction business uh, mm-hmm. selling selling for contractor. And uh, it, what was interesting, and I didn't know it back then, but uh, I, I'd, I'd go to meet with a subcontractor. I'd, I'd get a set of blueprints. I'd bid on it. Uh, and then he'd go take my bid and work it out with his buddy. And uh, mm-hmm. I was listening to my boss one day. He, he had his biggest client on the speakerphone, and his client was basically just cussing him out. And it was like, after the deal was over, I'd go, is he always that way? He goes, yeah, he is. He'll sit there and he'll, he'll you know, send him a proposal. He'll kind of cuss me out and go, Mike, you're too high. And then I'll always lower a little bit and I'll get the business. I go, is that how it works? He goes, that's how it works. So anyway, that then kind of transferred over. when I, be, you know, I took a bunch of sales training, did a bunch of psychology did the, did the fire walk with Tony Robbins, did a life-changing deal, and said, you know, this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. And then I started working on agencies. And, of course, mm-hmm. I saw within agencies the same thing was happening. You know, they were, they were trained to go meet with the prospect, get the policies, find a coverage gap, market it, try to bring back a better price. They would do that a lot. And, and, then, and then the incumbent, the sneaky mm-hmm. incumbent, the shrewd, smart incumbent would come mm-hmm. back in and go, well, we can do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they were keeping the business. And so I'm sitting there going, holy crap, I mean, that guy's killing you. And, and the, common, right. the, the common thought at that point, Jack, was, 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 was producers would go, well, if I didn't come, that's what I'd want. I know, but you're not. Uh, and uh, so, so out of that came this whole thinking, like, holy crap, I mean, we're, you know, you're getting killed. And as a consultant, I'm getting killed because if I can't figure out how to help you sell more business, I won't be around very long. And right. through a whole bunch of knocking my head on the wall that one day it just hit me. I mean, it's like the light came on. Uh, you know, not only do you need to be good at building relationships, you've got to be good at busting relationships. To bust that incumbent relationship is what mm-hmm. the producer does that, that's trying to get the business that the incumbent doesn't do is where that buyer's being underserved. Mm-hmm. And so we built mm-hmm. a whole system of questions and processes around getting that buyer's either getting screwed by the incumbent mm-hmm. yeah. and that them, became the wedge. Get them to recognize their own... Uh, how they're getting their own discontent and then wedge that point in and take it away. That's beautiful. And yeah, and, and here's what's interesting, Jack. Everybody says they do that, just between you and me. It's just like, sure. you know, you've heard of Kleenex. Mm-hmm. Well, a, a Kleenex is a tissue, right? And you can get tissues from somebody other than Kleenex. But every, so in, in, in my business, everybody says they wedge. And right. But, but the reality is, man, I'm telling you something. Between you and me, a bunch of them don't. Yeah, they'll win some business. Mm-hmm. But my guys who are, who are really wedging and got this as an art, mm-hmm. they're getting a ton of, of broker record letters, and they got mm-hmm. closing ratios in the 50, 60, and 70% closing rates. Wow. That's what happens when people really know how to wedge. And so now when you came back and you said, well, what do you really do? Well, we, we, we make that process of winning mm-hmm. 
a cultural thing supported by training, supported by great sales meetings that drive that type of training, supported by database management that roll up in dashboards, all that integrated together. I mean, that's really where my business is. Okay. So this is, that would be um, your X factor or your um, degree of uniqueness, the comprehensive approach and the experience that you can bring to bear, you and your colleagues, to make this happen. Yeah, I think, and, and maybe even uh, uh, a step above that. It, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Right now, if, 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 like if, if you hired a sales manager to come into your agency and go, hey, man, let's go, let's go drive sales, you know, they could, they could go bring in, you know, they could buy a wedge book and go teach some wedge. Right. But what, what, we've, what we've done now is um, one of the biggest challenges that agencies have, I mean, there's a lot of challenges. We all have a lot of challenges, so it's not a big deal that we have challenges. But one of the biggest mm -hmm. challenges that agencies have is um, you know, get a little bit of sales training over here, they get a little bit of sales management training over there, and, they get, and then they go by using an EMS or Sajid or some sort of database. And the problem is you get all these disparate parts that don't work together. Yeah, it's like a Chinese menu. Like a Chinese menu. So what we've done is yeah, we've taken right. this whole thing about growth. And you know, you know like an iPhone, do you use iPhone, Jack? Uh, you know, like no, but I know a lot of people do. But. <laughs> well, what, it's well done, what iPhone's done a good job of is, you know, it's a, it's a phone, it's an email, it's website, it's GPS, mm -hmm. it's, it's a camera, mm -hmm. it's all sorts of things all integrated in one deal. What, what we're going to do is take all this stuff and integrate it to make it really easy rather than, than this nightmarish crap that people have to go through to try to drive culture. Ah, uh, okay, and you've been doing it long enough where you're able to refine the system and keep tweaking it and use your experience as a, um, as a driver. Oh, well, that's beautiful. So you can really help the agency solve um, just the fact that they're losing commercial line of business, basically. That's the, and how yeah, they, I mean, I was with the agency that yesterday that, that had been flat growth for five years. We mm -hmm. started working with them. We re-engaged with them October of, of uh, 09, so then we had mm -hmm. all last year. New mm -hmm. business is up. New business is up 40%. Wow. Uh, got wow. another agency in, in or, or, uh, uh, Atlanta we talked to just a couple of days ago. He's got over five. That, that, that agency I just talked to you right now, had uh, it's a $70 million revenue agency. Wow. The, the other agency I'm going to tell you about is a little five-man shop in Atlanta. I mean, his new mm -hmm. business is up 100%. I mean, mm -hmm. and, and so the, the biggest challenge with, with most agencies, the problems we solve is, 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 number one, getting new business up and doing it on a sustainable, continuous basis, and then, you know, from, from the core producers. Mm -hmm. And then also, because, because we systematize what's going on, now you can go hire new producers and put them into a system rather than hire new producers and put them into a non-system and watch them fail. Mm, okay, so you really are providing just some huge opportunities for agents that are willing to make that commitment and do that, and uh, pretty impressive, I've, I've got to say. I um, want to thank you for sharing. Is there anything that uh, you'd like to add, any uh, closing words of wisdom to our the good uh, producers and sales managers out there? Well, oh, to the good ones, keep doing it, and to the ones that are not so good yet, uh, Jack. Jack just threw out the, the critical word: is that, I mean, you know, Jack. In our society today, there's no reason to be overweight unless maybe you have a disease. You know, the only reason somebody be overweight is because they never committed to being slim and trim and healthy. The same thing is true with growth. The, 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 the only reason that people aren't growing, agencies aren't growing, is because they never committed to it. Because when you commit, then, then, then all of a sudden that drives the discipline to do these processes. And it just amazes me, uh, you know, if, if, when the agency owners, I mean, when you, I just sent out an email this morning, like, let me tell you about your competition. Your competition runs terrible sales meetings. They, have, they don't have, they don't train and develop their producers. They don't mm -hmm. do good goal setting. Yep. Uh, they don't have good differentiation. They don't do any of these things. That's what your competition is doing. You can step above your competition so easy if you commit, get a system, and go. That's Absolutely. what I think. No, I, yeah, I saw that email. Very excellent. Well, well, that's fantastic, Randy, and thank you very much uh, for sharing, and let's go out there and help our members uh, grow their business and make a little money for ourselves along the way. Awesome. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.